What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to split your audio with the Go XLR. Okay, so first things first, you're going to open your settings. You're going to go to Spotify. You're going to change the Spotify output to music. After you do that, you're going to come to your Go XLR. Go to routing. Take off broadcast stream mix from the music. So only your headphones should be checked. Then you're going to come to your sources, hit the plus sign. Audio output capture. We'll just call this music. Device, we're going to change this to music as well. Hit that OK. We're going to go to File, Settings, Output. So Twitch has this VOD track thing. If you check this, it'll upload the VOD with Audio Track 2. You'll stream on Audio Track 1, upload in Track 2. Go to Recording. Also, record track two. Do not record track one. Hit apply. Obviously, I can't do all that because I'm recording. So you're going to hit apply. So next, you're going to go to settings. You're going to find your music. Go over to number two and uncheck that because that's the VOD that's going to be uploaded is audio track two. Also, the recording is using audio track two as well. So right now, if we come, just play some random house music. I can hear this right now, but you shouldn't be able to hear this. Okay, so unfortunately, the mixer doesn't actually control the volume on the stream or on the recording. It does affect it in my ears, but it doesn't work on here. So you're going to have to find kind of where you want your level to be. That way, if you're playing a game or whatever, you know, it's not overpowering the game. It's probably good. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, that's how you do it. And I mean, that way, you know, right now I'm recording this video. You're not going to be able to hear this music. If I was streaming, the stream would hear it. But as soon as the VOD uploads, it's not going to be on there. That way you're not going to get any copyright strikes or anything like that. We'll pretend this uh, Marcus Brownlee video is an actual game. You're able to hear the gameplay. You're able to hear my voice. You can't hear the music. In stream, they'd be able to hear all of it. Obviously, you wouldn't be playing music with the video. But if it was a game, that's a different story. Now, Apple would never say that. So yeah, that's a little quick tutorial how to do that. I haven't figured out how to actually adjust the volume using the slider from what it broadcasts on stream, but it does control the volume in my headphones. So I can still turn this up and down in my headphones. And that way I can still turn the volume up and down in my headphones. That way, if, you know, I don't want to hear it, but you know, chat does, they can still hear the music or, you know, if it's throwing me off, if I have to hear something in a game, I could turn it down. If I really want to vibe out too, I could just, you know, crank that up, but all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. It's not a game.